Hi there. You must be Graystalin. I'm Krista, Jaden's sister. He's been talking about you non-stop lately. Hi, Krista. It's nice to finally meet you. Jaden mentioned he had a younger sister, but he didn't tell me much about you. I'm curious to know more. Well, you'll have plenty of time to get to know me if you pass my test. Yes, I'm giving you a test. Consider it a sisterly screening. You do want to marry Jaden, right? You're not just playing with his feelings? Wow, you don't beat around the bush, do you? Yes, of course I want to marry Jaden. We met through a marriage agency, after all. We both signed up because we were looking for serious and lasting relationships. A marriage agency? Why would Jaden need that? He's always been so popular and charming. Well, maybe he was embarrassed to admit the truth. But yes, we met through an agency that matched us based on our compatibility and preferences. We had a trial date and we felt an instant connection. We agreed to date exclusively and get married within a year. That's insane. How can you decide something so important so quickly? Jaden has always been impulsive, but this is too much. I need to talk to him. Well, don't be so hasty. Jaden and I are very happy together. We love each other very much. Love? How can you talk about love when you barely know each other? Look, I'm sorry for being rude, but I have to protect my brother. He means the world to me. I understand that, Krista. And I appreciate your concern. But trust me, Jaden and I are good for each other. How can I trust you when you've been hiding the truth from me? You don't know what kind of family you're getting into. I know a little bit about your family background. Jaden told me you're all very accomplished and successful. That's an understatement. Our family is one of the most prestigious in the country. Jaden is no exception. He's a genius who's studying at MIT, one of the best schools in the world. That's amazing. I'm very proud of him, too. And what about you? Are you smart enough to keep up with him? Are you talented enough to support him? Are you beautiful enough to match him? Excuse me? What kind of questions are those? They're important questions. I need to make sure you're worthy of him. And who are you to judge that? I'm his sister. That's who. I've always loved and admired him since we were kids. It's my duty as his sister to make sure he marries someone who can make him happy and successful. Someone who can give him perfect children who will inherit his brilliance. Perfect children? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. You know what I mean. You're not just marrying him for love, are you? You're also marrying him for his genes. His genes? Yes, his genes. Don't tell me you haven't thought about it. You want to have his babies, don't you? Well, yes, of course I do. But that's not the only reason why I love him. Well, it better not be. Because if it is, then you're just using him as a breeding machine. Breeding machine? That's a horrible thing to say. It's the truth. You're not the first woman who's tried to seduce him for his genes. He's had many girlfriends before, but none of them passed my test. Your test? Yes, it is. And you're failing miserably. But don't worry, I'll give you another chance. Just answer my questions honestly, and I'll see if you're worthy of him. Go ahead. Ask me anything. Let's start with something simple. How good are you at cooking and cleaning? Can you make healthy and delicious meals for him? How much time do you spend on household chores? I've been living alone and cooking for myself for many years, so I'd say I'm a pretty good chef. I like to try out new recipes often and use a lot of vegetables. And I actually really enjoy cleaning. It gives me peace of mind and I pride myself on having a clean home. My daily cleaning schedule involves vacuuming, dusting, dishes, laundry, and decluttering. I do a deep clean twice a week to clean out the drains and dust behind the furniture. That's good to hear. I especially appreciate your attention to hard to reach areas like the drains. On to the next question. Where do you work and what are your goals for your professional life? Jaden told me you have a job at a big company. Is that true? Although Jaden and I work in different fields, I am the administrator at the head office of a large company. 
An administrator. That's another point for you, Gracelyn. What is your average annual income? Will you be relying on Jaden for financial support? My income is required for this test. I don't know if I'm comfortable sharing that. If you intend to marry into the family, I see no problem in letting us know your income. I'm practically already your sister-in-law. I'd appreciate an honest answer. All right. I earn approximately $150,000 a year. Before tax, of course. $150,000 a year? That is impressive. I will take this into consideration. It seems like you're on the same level as him in terms of social status. Oh, thanks, I guess. So far, I think you two are an excellent match. I just have one more question. Tell me about your education. Which university did you attend? What degrees do you have? And do you have any additional certifications? Surely someone like you who also attended a prestigious university. Did you also attend MIT? To be honest, I didn't go to college. I started working right out of high school, so I never needed a degree. That's surprising. You can't be serious. You didn't go to college? That was the last question, wasn't it? How did I do? What do you think, Krista? Are Jaden and I a good match? You were passing with flying colors up until the no college part. Unfortunately, since you lack a university education, I will have to deduct 100 points from your final score. You failed the little sister assessment. Please break up with Jaden immediately. I beg your pardon? He is going to graduate top of his class from MIT. He is a genius and the pride of his entire family. We have a long line of academically high achieving relatives and intend to keep it that way. We will not allow Jaden to marry someone with no post-secondary educational background. Stay away from him, you dimwit. Krista, why this sudden change in attitude? I'm sorry to have upset you, but that's no reason to act hastily. I was just being honest with you. I have no reason to be charitable to someone like you. You have lost my respect. I am ordering you to stay out of his life. A high school graduate like yourself is a waste of his time. I will not allow it any further. Gracelyn, sorry for the late reply. Work was a bit chaotic and I didn't get a chance to check my phone. I just saw your messages. I can't believe Krista would send you such harsh texts. She's always been critical of my past relationships, but telling you to break up with me? That's a new low. I'm taken aback to say the least. No one's ever belittled me for only having a high school education before. And then to demand that I stay away from you? It's completely out of line. Don't let Krista get to you. She's just overly protective and has a bit of a temper. What matters is our happiness, right? So don't let my sister get under your skin. She's probably just jealous that there's another woman in my life. Do you really think that's all it is? Her words were quite hurtful. I honestly didn't think Krista would go this far. She's always been a bit overbearing with my girlfriends ever since I started university. I thought she'd outgrow it, but apparently not. She's always idolized me and gets defensive if any girl gets too close. It's like she has some sort of brother complex. Maybe if you apologize, she'll calm down. Jaden, this might be amusing to you, but her words were really hurtful. I want to be close to your family, but I don't think I did anything wrong here. If she can't admit her mistake and apologize, how can she accept me? What? Do you want me to apologize on her behalf? Trust me, getting an apology out of Krista is like pulling teeth. Just let it go. Her words are more about her own insecurities than anything else. I'm not sure if that's the best approach. She seemed pretty serious. I understand that her words hurt you. Not going to university doesn't make you any less valuable, Gracelyn. You had a guaranteed job and made a calculated decision. So, because it was my decision not to go to university, I should just accept being looked down upon? Everyone deserves respect regardless of their educational background. You're right, but Krista only said those things because she's jealous of our relationship. Can you find it in your heart to forgive her? 
In a weird way, her jealousy is kind of endearing. It shows how much she knows I care about you. I didn't realize it would upset you this much though. Excuse me? You're trivializing this. Gracelyn, don't worry about what Krista thinks. My intention to marry you hasn't changed one bit. The best thing we can do now is try to keep the peace with Krista. We don't need any family drama. You're probably right. I'll do my best. I know Krista upset you, but could you give her another chance? If this feud continues and causes a rift in the family, it could jeopardize our wedding plans. Krista, you've crossed a line. I can't believe you'd ruin my new dress with your coffee. This stain will never come out. You could have burned me. Oh, spare me the drama. You had it coming, you uneducated swine. I thought I made it clear that you should stay away from my brother. But here you are, still clinging to him. How dare you show up at our house uninvited to announce your wedding? It's not your place to decide who Jaden marries. Jaden and I have made the decision to get married, and it's none of your concern. As his sister, it is my concern. Shouldn't his family have a say in this? You won't marry him without my blessing, understand? A plain, unrefined woman like you has no business being with a man like him. Didn't you once say that I was a good match for Jaden? Was that all just talk? I'm an excellent cook, I keep a clean house, and I have a successful career. Despite not having a university degree, I've made something of myself. Can't you respect me for who I am? Are you even listening to yourself? Your success and career mean nothing to me. In our family, education is paramount. We need to ensure that the next generation maintains our academic legacy. Your presence threatens that. I despise simpletons like you. Krista, surely you can't mean that. That's utterly absurd. You wouldn't understand. It's beyond your comprehension. We're a family of scholars, lawyers, and doctors. It's our pride and something we must protect. I won't let someone as lowly as you tarnish our lineage. Jaden deserves a woman who matches him in intellect and ability. It's the only way to uphold our family's esteemed legacy. Tarnish your lineage? What kind of eugenicist nonsense is this? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. To you, it may seem like nonsense, but that's because you lack the critical thinking skills that come with higher education. Some of the world's most influential people owe their success to their educational background. The university you attend can significantly impact your life trajectory and success of your offspring. If education is so important, then explain how I've managed to secure a high-ranking position at a major company without any fancy university degree. As long as someone is confident in their abilities and committed to their career, they don't necessarily need to go to university. While some professions do require degrees, society needs people from all walks of life to thrive. Your persistence is laughable for someone so ignorant. The only reason you're where you are today is pure luck. Stop trying to justify yourself and leave Jaden alone. If a cup of coffee isn't enough to deter you, maybe next time I'll bring a bucket. It would be such a shame if your white wedding dress got ruined, wouldn't it? Are you threatening me? Do you realize what you're implying? You're beneath our family and unworthy of my respect. I won't let my brother marry someone like you. If threats are what it takes to get my point across, then so be it. If that's how it is, and don't expect any favors from Netmix. What does Netmix have to do with anything? Don't worry, I'll get out of your hair. After all, education is everything, right? I'll break up with Jaden, too. He wouldn't want to marry someone who doesn't get along with his family anyways. To think I was seriously considering recommending you for a position at my company. It's a shame. Wait. Wait. What do you mean? Recommending me for a position? And what's this about Netmix? You never mentioned it before. Oh, I didn't. Right now, I'm working on outreach to prestigious universities around the country for new hires. You already sent in an application, right? According to your cover letter, you seemed pretty desperate to get in. No way. You're a top advisor at Netmix? Even though you haven't graduated yet, I was considering recommending you. 
It seems like that won't be an option after all. That's a shame, considering it's your dream job, isn't it? Oh, wait. We can talk this out. I told you about my education and salary, but I never mentioned which company I work for. Silly me. Maybe you would have treated me differently if you knew I was a key advisor at one of the biggest media companies in the world. Oh well, you've sent in four applications for Netmix now, right? We have them on record. You were actually one of our top candidates. No, wait. This is all a misunderstanding. We can figure this out. Still, how in the world did you manage to get a job like that without a university education? Oh, that? I was scouted. Apparently, I was the most competent and driven worker they'd seen in decades. Turns out I'm still an intelligent and dedicated person, despite my lack of higher education. But you wouldn't care about that, would you? You can't respect someone like me, apparently. No, no. This is a misunderstanding. You don't really think that, right? I'm the fastest promoted employee in Netmix's history. I was offered the top advisor position by the time I was 25. One of my responsibilities is reviewing the applications of the most promising candidates. You passed up to my level, but unfortunately I will have to decline your application as the two of us cannot work together. Please, hold on. We can work together. You were rejected the first three times you applied too, weren't you? Seems you were pretty persistent about the position. What a pity. Unfortunately for you, the key to my success at Netmix has been hiring employees who show potential beyond just educational background. I hire people who are respectful, hardworking, and think outside of the box. I find that people without degrees sometimes have a higher degree of mental flexibility and a better understanding of the perspective of the general audience. I swear, I didn't know. If only I would have known. I even heard you've been contacting some of our employees for advice. Actually, you are well known around the office for your persistence. That and your attempts to get hired through university connections. I apologize for not telling you about all this earlier, but I thought it would be unproductive in learning about your true character. This is an elaborate joke, right? You've got to be joking. Netmix is a very competitive company, as you know. The department you are applying for is also our most popular. It's only natural that not everyone can get in. I don't think the part about you being a star and deserving only the best on your cover letter helps either, though. Well, I was just being honest. After all, I am an MIT student. I may not be top of my class like my brother, but that doesn't mean I'm not star material. I'm highly educated. I'm more deserving of the job than you. Actually, in comparison to my coworkers, a bachelor's from MIT is below average. While we hire people of all educational backgrounds, the top dogs typically have a master's or a doctorate at least. What's that supposed to mean? Are you a high school graduate? Calling me uneducated? Not necessarily. We don't judge purely based on academic success. We do, however, hire the greatest minds in the business. After all, Einstein is considered one of the smartest men in history, and he failed his university entrance exams. We not only take into account education, but also problem-solving skills, communication, and cooperation. Most importantly, we want to hire people who are willing to learn and ask questions. Doesn't my education prove to you that I have these traits already? You're very persistent, aren't you? But that's about it. If you think relying on your education and name-dropping a university will get you a job, then you better give up on working at Netmix. I don't think you're a good fit for the position, Krista. You've gotta be joking. After all my hard work... Oh, by the way, I received a promotion the other day. I'll be the executive president of our most popular department. No, that can't be. You don't deserve that. You're just lying to me. There's no way that's true. How can someone as uneducated as you ever have such a title? I can't stand for it. You and I are different. 
I am a star and a genius. I deserve that title. It seems someone in charge noticed my consistent success. I think that makes me a genius in my own right. Well then, I've got work to do. Good luck with your job search, Krista. Once I've canceled the engagement, I will no longer be in contact with Jaden or your family. Gracelyn, what's the meaning of this? You're seriously calling off the wedding? Can we talk about this? You saw what Krista did earlier, did you not? Your little sister hates me so much that she poured coffee on me in front of your entire family. She threatened to destroy my wedding dress too if I don't call off the engagement. I can't put up with this inappropriate behavior, so I am calling off our marriage. Didn't I tell you not to take her seriously? She's just a jealous little girl. There's absolutely no reason to allow her misbehavior to affect our relationship. This isn't a joke, Jaden. I will not be bossed around by your kid's sister. Especially if my own fiancé can't stand up for me. If you aren't on my side, we aren't getting married. I can't believe you call off our wedding for that. You're blowing this out of proportion. When Krista dumped her coffee on my brand new dress earlier, you couldn't even bring me a paper towel. You couldn't have cared less. All you did was stand there and watch. I was humiliated. I thought you would at least tell Krista off, but you did nothing. You even went as far as to tell me it was an accident, when we both know it wasn't. What was I supposed to do? I didn't want to make a scene after all. Your future wife should be your top priority. Not an out-of-control kid sister who's never been told off in her life. I decided then and there that I will never marry you. I'm breaking off the engagement. I cannot accept a spineless man like you as my life partner. Gracelyn, please, can't we work this out? I'll admit that I should have done more to help you. I should have told my sister off. But I thought it would only make things worse if I stepped in. I wanted to de-escalate the situation, that's all. De-escalate? It's your sister's responsibility to apologize and act sensible, is it not? She'd already ruined the mood. I doubt your stepping in could have done any further damage. What, did you think I'd turn around and apologize to Krista for pouring her boiling hot drink on me? But, let's talk about this. I refuse to marry you. I don't ever want to see you or your obsessive little sister ever again. I'll return the engagement ring. I expect a refund for the money I've put down for the wedding. Sorry, it had to end this way, Jaden. Please, Gracelyn. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Please, don't leave me. I'll talk to Krista today and make things right. Please, just give me another chance. Krista is just jealous, that's all. She doesn't actually mean the hurtful things she says. Excuse me, I'm not forgiving her until she apologizes to me herself. Even then, it's unlikely. After all, she's just a child. She doesn't realize the consequences of her actions. She's just being overprotective of me, that's all. She doesn't really mean to hurt you. She knows how much I care about you and she's scared. Please don't be angry with Krista and please forgive me for having a soft spot for her. Jaden, that's exactly what you said the first time. She has continued to escalate because you won't confront her. She's 21 years old. If she doesn't understand the consequences of her actions by now, I don't know what to tell you. No matter what lengths she goes to, you still just brush it off as jealousy. At this rate, she'll never learn. Didn't they teach you how to treat others with respect in that fancy university of yours? I can't just call her out like that. She's my sister after all. You have to understand. I don't understand. Until you can have a serious conversation with your sister about her attitude problem, don't come crying to me. While you're at it, why don't you also tell Krista about your job situation? How, even though you're an MIT graduate, you were fired. And how you haven't been able to find a new position. And how you've been crashing at my house because you can no longer afford to live alone. There is no way I can tell her that. If she found out I'm unemployed, it would destroy her image of me as her infallible older brother. Fine. That's your decision. Our engagement is null and the wedding is cancelled. Please come by my house to pick up your things by the end of today. Within today? Where am I supposed to go? I haven't found a new job and I don't have any savings to use for a new place. That's no longer any of my business. Gather your things and leave. If you haven't moved everything out by the end of the day, I'm pouring coffee on all of it. You wouldn't, right? Please, Gracelyn! You heard me. I want you and your family out of my life. 
Gracelyn, I'd like to apologize for yesterday. Not only for yesterday, but also for how I've been treating you this whole time. I was out of line. I am very sorry and have reflected on my actions. Therefore, can you please accept my application to Netmix? Even a small entry-level position is fine. Just please hire me. You don't really think this will work, do you? After all, you know? My family is full of high achievers. I'm a great candidate. Even though I'm a student at MIT, I haven't been able to find a job or internship anywhere. All three of my top companies have rejected my applications multiple times. I'm running out of options here. I've been trying to contact my academic advisors and university alumni for help, but nobody is pulling through. Now that I know you are one of the top advisors for Netmix, you're my last hope. I'll do anything. So please, give me an interview. Sorry, but you've missed your chance. Are you so entitled that you think an apology will get you anything you want? You've already crossed the line one too many times, Krista. Don't get me wrong. I don't expect you to forgive me. But if you cannot forgive me, please at least forgive Jaden. I support your relationship and want the two of you to be happy together. Really? It's too late, Krista. Our engagement has already been called off. I returned to the ring and Jaden moved his things out of my home. Already? Furthermore, upon review of your application, in my experiences with you personally, you are not a good fit for our company. Moreover, we have a rule of not hiring criminals. Most large companies are the same, you know? Criminals? What does that have to do with me? I don't think I've done anything against the law. Really? Don't you remember? It was you who poured coffee on me, was it not? Pouring hot coffee on someone is considered assault in the eyes of the law, you know. What? I filed a damage report at the police station right after the party. A damage report? You're kidding, right? Does this mean I'm going to be arrested? On that note, I just wanted to ask you. Have there ever been any other criminals in that incredible family of yours? Or are you the first? Of course not. We are above such lowly people. Well, then it seems like the one who is going to ruin your family's reputation isn't me after all. Congrats. You're going to ruin my life. How will I be able to finish my education or get a job now? I'm ruined. Gracelyn, I'm begging you. Please, I will never talk to you again. Please retract your damage report. No, I don't think I will. Anyways, good luck with that. I've got better things to do. So, if you'll excuse me. After that, I received a message from Jaden and Krista's parents and was asked to visit their house. Upon arriving, the entire family got down on their knees and begged for my forgiveness. It was a very polite apology, but I learned afterward that they were all berating me behind my back. After a performance like that, it's only natural that I blocked all contact with the family. I withdrew the damage report on the condition that Krista never pesters me or the employees at my company ever again. Furthermore, they paid me back the money I had put down to prepare for the wedding ceremony. Due to her actions, Krista was cut off financially from her family and forced to drop out of university. What's more, Jaden has still not admitted that he was fired from his job and now works multiple part-time jobs secretly. From what I've heard, he is couch surfing and is too ashamed to go home. It seems like education isn't the end-all be-all after all.